What's up guys, Rob from clicksgeek.com. Today's video, really quick, I'm just gonna go over maximize clicks, how it works, how you can use it, and my experience using it, and we use it pretty much on almost every client we have, at least in the beginning, to start a new campaign. And then we usually transition over, and I'll go over all of that. So, uh, like I said, very quick video. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and check out the links in the description of this video. We put lots of free content in there for you guys. Now, let's just get right into it. We're uh, in our main master account here. You can see we have a bunch of uh, clone campaigns that we like to use in different niches. So, if we go into a campaign, go into the settings. Give that a minute. We're going to come under bidding. What you're going to see here is your options to change the bidding strategy. Maximize clicks is something you can choose here. And it gives you a little brief uh, description about it. And you can learn more about it from Google. But essentially what it is, is you, uh, you are letting Google bid for you. All right. Google's going to determine what, what uh, you're going to pay for a click. Now, this it, it can be really, really great strategy. And like I said, we use this on pretty much every single new campaign we start. We start every campaign with maximized clicks. And then usually after 30 days, we flip it over into target CPA or maximize conversions. Those are two auto bidding strategies, auto conversion, conversion strategies that um, Google uses. <clears throat> and um, yeah, so we usually that's what usually we do. And that's another video for another time. Or I think we already have a few of those kind of uh, videos on target CPA and maximize conversions on our Clicks Geek YouTube channel. So you can check those out. But something really important when you're using maximize clicks, all right, you have to set a maximum cost per click bid limit. Otherwise, you're going to get crushed, all right? And you don't have to set it. Obviously, you can just let Google have free reign to bid whatever they want, but you're going to get insane click prices. It's just what they're going to do. I mean, you, you could be in the, what, what niche is this campaign? It's a local land buyer. I mean, you could get, you could be paying clicks as high as like $140, $120, and um, they'll just do it, and you'll crush your budget, and it's just not going to work out that well. So that's why it's important to set a maximum cost per click bid limit, which you can do right here. You just check this box and you tell Google, I do, do not want this campaign to bid more than $21 or $21.03. I always do like a weird 03 because it is a penny auction. But um, you want to set something here to keep kind of like keep the reins on them so they don't get out of control. Now you might be wondering, well, how the hell am I supposed to know what to set here? Uh, easy formula that I do is just go into Keyword Planner. And it's going to actually type in your main keyword for the theme of your campaign. So for this one, it would be a, a land buyer. And whatever the top of the page bid price is for that keyword, I will set my maximum CPC bid limit as that. And just kind of give Google some runway to uh, make different bidding choices and options. And they're going to do that. Not So if I set this maximum CPC bid limit at $21, you're not going to pay $21 for every click. Every keyword in your campaign is a different it's going to have a different price to show your ad for it. So it's going to be a, an average of your, you're going to, your cost per click is going to be an average of all of your keywords combined while what you're paying per click. So that's pretty much how that works. And like I said, this is a great strategy for a new campaign. We start every new campaign on uh, maximize clicks. We just set the bid limit a little high usually just to get it moving faster. And then um, once, once we have some good conversion data, usually it's about 25 conversions in the first 30 days. We will switch the campaign over to target CPA and we'll tell Google, all right, uh, you know, we're getting local land buyer leads for eight bucks. We'll set target CPA for 10 bucks. And I always set it a little higher and I let them uh, let them do all the bidding to get us that target CPA. So I, I wouldn't get too hung up on cost per click. Right. At the end of the day, and if you've taken my course, you'll know this is my my biggest thing here is uh, conversion, convert, con conversion volume and conversion rate and cost per conversion are really the only metrics that we care about. I don't really care about the cost per click. And I know that may sound kind of crazy. I don't really care about quality score. I know that sounds crazy too. I care about those three metrics, conversion value, conversion rate, and the cost per conversion. Because if I can adjust those three levers to what I need, the client's going to be extremely happy. Now, if they're paying $40 a click, yeah, they might see that and be like, um, yeah, this is out of control. I don't want to pay this. But they're still getting a cost per lead of $15, then what is the difference if you're going to pay on some clicks $40? All right. So that, that's why it's important to understand. You got to kind of take a step back 
and put everything in context, not just focus on what keyword is costing you this much. You got to look at the bigger picture, the 40,000 foot view of um, what your lead costs are and what they need to be at for you to run a successful Google Ads campaign. So that's all I got for you guys today. Like I said, short video, maximize clicks, two thumbs up over here. We love it. It works really well. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comment section below this video. All right, I'll see you in the next video.